Hey guys, it's Brent Thorvaldson with Stolen Bikes Edmonton. I'm just popping in to uh, give you guys a quick video on how to do the basic registry on bike index for your bikes before they get stolen. It sure makes our job a lot easier to uh, have bikes registered than try and track down owners when they're recovered. So this is going to be the very basic registration and let's take a look at how it works. You're, when you log into Bike Index at bikeindex.org, this is their home page. So you're going to be able to see uh, pages for bike shops, for cities, for schools, for community groups. Um, anyone can set up a group. We have a Stolen Bike Seventon group set up that you can register your bikes under. I'd prefer you register it under the EPS group. They're tracking numbers for uh, how many bikes are registered. So I'd like to see the numbers go there rather than to our group. I still have access to all of it as being a Canadian ambassador. Uh, you guys won't have this heading. It'll probably just be your name and uh, let's dig into what we need to do so our first step we want to do once we create our registration for our name email etc we go over to settings and we're going to come down to register a new bike so once this opens up this is going to be your basic bike details it's going to ask you whether it's a bike tricycle stroller wheelchair um, trail behind half bike you name it you can pretty much uh, register anything that has two three four wheels on it on here and uh, we'll have access to it the next step we're going to be is a serial number if you don't know where the serial number is on your bike you can either do a quick google search it's usually below the bottom bracket on the shell it'll either be stamped in on uh, steel or alloy frames and on carbon fiber frames it'll be on a barcode decal so uh, we want to make sure we get the correct serial number and if you do have some questions about it there's always a help tab here you can go to the bike index uh, drop down and it'll show you how to find your serial number on the bike um, so we'll enter something here just for test purposes uh, if you're missing serial number you can still enter your information uh, it's not as effective but um, some of the admins in the groups know how to search open we'll search make we'll search model we'll search color uh, it's a little more work but we can find it if it's uh, the higher end bike we'll definitely put the extra effort in next step will be our manufacturer so we'll just use something like a trek we'll get a drop down if there's multiples we'll pick the one we're looking for we'll say our bike is a 2018 model and we'll say it's a uh, farley seven Next will be our primary frame color. We'll say that it's going to be black and then we can always add a secondary color Which would be we'll say it's got blue highlights to it and then our owner email and That's it. That's the very basic information. I'll get into uh, The next step in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye